Hi guys, so today I'm going to be dyeing my hair with this palette colour and the colour is 7.1 medium, medium ash blonde now that I got the ash one because I have some bits of red in my hair that I want to get rid of so the ash is going to do that and the first thing you want to do is just check that the colour on the on this matches the colour on the box because although I haven't seen it myself I have heard that there are some pranksters that go around and they take the colours out and swap it with another colour so you end up with a different colour so it's always good just to make sure that it's the same as what you picked up. So yeah, you have the this the instructions, conditioner, and gloves. Oops. Gloves. So I've already gone ahead and put Vaseline around my hairline and further just to stop any stains from the hair dye in case you didn't know already if you don't follow me on instagram i have had my hair cut into a bob because i just wanted to tidy up the ends get rid of all the dead ends and give it a really good clean cut so i have done that now you can add this to this and shake it and mix it if you like i prefer to put it in a plastic container and mix it together and use it like that I just prefer it because it's easier to apply with this. Um, I'm not going to show you me applying it to my head because I feel like everybody has their own style. You know, if your hair's a bit thicker, perhaps you have to take more time and do it a bit more, take a bit more care. Perhaps if your hair's really thin, perhaps you can just put a massive dollop on your hand, run it through your hair, and it's done. So I won't show you that bit, but I want to make sure that you have done the allergy test 48 hours before. So like I said, either you add this in here, shake it and mix it, or what I'm going to do is put it in my little plastic box. So that is in there, and then... the current then mixy 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 and now it's time to apply so one good thing about having shorter hair is it takes less time to cover it with the dye so this particular brand I have to leave it for 30 minutes some of the colours it's 30 to 45 minutes but the medium ash blonde is 30 minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the area um, let me just get off just a little bit to make sure I don't get any stained skin um, but yeah, I'm going to clean all this up and then what I have to do after that is go in the shower, use warm water, kind of massage it in a bit, rinse it out until the water runs clear as normal, put in the conditioner, leave it for two minutes, rinse that out and hopefully my hair is not purple. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I have rinsed it out. I did use all of the conditioner. I do prefer it when they give you a bit more so it lasts for a couple more washes. But more importantly than that, 
I didn't really notice any extra hair fall than when I wash my hair regularly or any hair breakage so that's great a while ago I did use a L'Oreal Paris ammonia free hair dye and I had a lot of hair breakage and a lot of hair falling so I will never be using that uh, brand of hair dye again unfortunately I didn't do a review on that which I should have but yeah I would recommend you stay clear of L'Oreal Paris hair dyes especially if your hair is quite prone to damage and dryness and breakage already which doesn't help so yeah this one I didn't notice any breakage or any more falling than when I regularly wash my hair so that is good I'm going to leave it to air dry mostly and then finish it off with the hair dryer just to style it and then we'll look at the results hopefully it's a good result so yeah I'll see you in a bit So this is the finished result, I'm very happy with the colour, it's got rid of the red tint that I was talking about, the quality of the product is really good, my hair feels really soft and smooth and yeah, I do recommend it and don't forget if you like this video like and subscribe and I'll see you next time, bye!